every week I take walks out here to clear my head. I take walks, not just for clearing my head, but I take walks to uh, pretty much just get a grasp of what I'm doing. Sometimes when I'm uh, along this journey and moving in the right direction, I sometimes think I'm not doing the right things, you know, and I take these walks, I get away from civilization, I get out of the city, whatever the case may be, to get my head right. And for the most part, it works. Like, I left Charlotte, North Carolina, and came out here to this small town. This small town, this small community, I'm able to keep to myself, my own business. It's very quiet. It's, uh, it's a super small town. The population is like 40, 50,000 people. That's not even nowhere near close to how many people was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina has millions and millions of people that live there. So me being out here is super quiet. I'm able to stay focused. You see the lake is still frozen a little bit, but it's a nice day out. A very nice day out. I like seeing things like this. And I just reflect, evaluate my past choices, my past decisions, and I don't make the best decisions. I don't make the right decisions all the time. But consistency towards the right goals, consistency towards towards the right goals and the right things will eventually help you to get better, will uh, put you on the right track, will put you in the right position. So walks really help. I figured out who I was as a person. I figured out like figured out like the my past basically I just figured out my past figured out the things that I did right figured out the things that I did wrong and I'm working on getting better working on getting better I figured out the rights and wrongs of my life and I'm just working on getting better and so far so good but this is not a overnight type of thing. These are things that now that I learned my, I've learned my um, past as far as like what I did right and what I did wrong, I can now move ahead. And because I learned my past, my rights and my wrongs, I've forgiven the people around me, I forgave uh, myself for things that happened to me, things I've done to myself, everything like that. And it's very important that you figure out, figure out yourself. Now, I shoot these videos a lot, so how you figure yourself out? You learn the good and bad about you. How do you learn the good and bad about you? By analyzing all the people in your life. Did they bring harm to you? Did they bring joy? Did they bring happiness? Did they bring peace? What was your relationship like with them? This is how you start understanding who you are as a person. Now, when you understand the people and the environments you were brought up in and raised in, it now is it now can help you understand how and why you were shaped and built the way you were built, why the way you think and move the way you think. So once you understand how and why and what you are, you can move forward. And then, you know, I take walks, clear my head. For the most part, when I come out here and take walks, I um, I just walk, close my eyes, walk, hear the noises. It's natural noises out here that are good. See, just listening. 
You can hear the water, you can hear the streams, you can hear you can hear birds, you can hear the wind blowing across the trees and things like that. And it's very it's very refreshing. You know, it helps you keep you level headed, things like that. Once you figure out your place where you can just go find some peace, go find yourself, that's good. Sometimes that answer won't be in your city where you live in. Sometimes you'll have to um, move to a new city, a new town, move to another side of the city. And sometimes it isn't everybody's responsibility. I mean, yeah, it isn't, you're not obligated to tell everyone where you're going or what you're doing. That's that. Once you get out of trying to perform for everybody, then things will get better. So now you can really hear the water moving over here. Yeah, you can really hear the water's moving over here. most part um it helps then once you figure that out figure out what type of life you want to live based on the life you didn't have growing up once you figure out what type of life you want to live everything and anything must be directed towards that lifestyle that you said you wanted to live must be directed towards that environment you said you want to move towards now again I am not nowhere near my goals, nowhere near what I said I wanted to obtain or achieve. But here I am working towards it. Here I am doing the things that must be done in order to get there. Now, I'm not saying starting a YouTube channel is a way to get there, but I want financial freedom. All right. So what I do is I created multiple streams of income. Now, they're not streams of income yet, but I'm working towards that. I have a YouTube channel. I got a uh, Instagram page, Snapchat. Like I got social media accounts to where eventually one day, you know, social media is pay you to promote on your pages. So that's one thing I learned. And then I also have, look how far I done came. And then I have my own mobile detailing service. Where I clean cars as a side hustle until I have enough clients and customer base to, uh, to quit my nine to five. I have a nine to five. I work a nighttime job as a server at Longhorn. In my earlier videos, I worked at a warehouse, but I quit. The warehouse didn't have heat. And people was like, why you quit? That was good money. I can go find that same money at any type of job, which was $15 an hour. Longhorn is $12 an hour, but I'm a server, so I get paid through tips. So through, through getting paid through tips, I got to have good customer service. I got to know how to talk to people, which is also a benefit because it'll help me when I'm out here talking as far as promoting my business. So I have my nine to five. I work at uh, Longhorn. I have my mobile detailing business as a side hustle. Um, I shoot YouTube videos. I'm into the stock market and I have cryptocurrency. Right there, that is what? Five streams of income and it'll only get better as I keep working at it. Consistency, nothing will change overnight, okay? Nothing will change overnight. But here's the thing, here's the deal. You're gonna live for however many years you're gonna live. No one knows. But you have to also realize that if you don't act now, your life could possibly potentially be the same as it is this very day. If you don't act on making some choices to better your life. Now, because I realized that I understand that 10 years is going to be 10 years whether or not I invest or whether or not I just BS and play around. But I also look at 
when the opportunity to buy Bitcoin when I was in junior college presented itself and I didn't buy. Now Bitcoin is worth uh, what? Thousands of dollars, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000. It goes up and down. But $100 six, seven years ago today would have got me probably a million dollars if I would have held it that long. But like I said, I was good at saving. Sometimes it's good to put your money into these uh, investment accounts and forget about it. Because when you think about it 24 seven, you tend to want to spend your money. And, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go. So in 10 years, where can the YouTube channel be? In 10 years, where can your mobile detailing service be? In 10 years, this is what I ask myself. In 10 years, where can these crypto accounts you have be? In 10 years, where can you be physically? In 10 years, where can you be financially, physically? Where can you be health-wise? All these things matter, yo. Like, look how beautiful this is. It's good to be alone, but you have to learn how to be alone. You have to know how to be alone. Like, just sitting here and letting your mind flow free, it'll work, it'll help you. It's benefits to being alone but you have to learn how to be alone.